down to the well and I'm going to cut back some of the greenery and bring it up to the cottage and I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean out. Oh, just taking a little pause. So I'm cutting back all the evergreen rubus which I planted down around here around this sacred spring well in the fairy wood when I first dug this well out and uh, allowed the water to flow and the evergreen rubus has been protecting it and protecting the earth but now as I look I'm seeing little primroses and tiny little plants emerging from around the spring well so I'm also going to bring down some ferns. I've got lots of ferns and pots that I'm going to bring down and plant around the edge of this. So I'm clearing this path. You can see, a little bit out of breath because I've been working. And uh, just piling all the rubus up here. Now that will make a little, little miniature habitat for birds and uh, small mammals. This is what I do when I'm clearing. I don't, I don't move anything from the place where I've cleared it, unless it's wood that I can put into the barn. I build little habitat piles, and that brings life to this little sanctuary. I've noticed up here as well, well I did notice it some time ago, but I'm very aware of its growth today. This little holly tree has started to grow here on the path, so I'm going to move the path around it now. So instead of this path being straight, it's going to be a little bit curved. Okay, I'll carry on with my work. So I haven't yet been up to the barn to collect the spade. I've just been using my hands which are probably the best instruments to use in uh, taking out silt and, and uh, leaves and twigs and debris that's built up over the past year and a bit. It's been about a year and a bit since I've given this a, a good clear out. Let me just step up here. Oh, that's better. Wow. So you can see now how far I've got. I'm going to move down this way. Just make sure it's all nice and clear. And uh, whew, there's a good flow in that well now, but more to come. So I'll keep on. I think I'm almost there. So I think it is time to go back up to the cottage and make a cup of tea. I think I've uh, done a fair bit. Need to redo my nails at some point. Ah. So it's running, there's a nice trickling sound from it. See this water is sacred, sacred on, on quite a few different levels. First of all, there was no stream or pond or running water of any kind 17 years ago. And I divined for this water. It seemed strange at the time, but not strange now that I found it just at the very entrance to the fairy wood because all this area here is the fairy wood and uh, there's a few stories about it which if you want to go back onto the YouTube channel and, and, and go back into the very earliest videos you'll see. When I did uh, dig it out because there hadn't been a well here so this was literally unplugging the aquifer and allowing the sacred water to flow. 
when that happened, from the moment the water started to flow, it never stopped. And even during droughts, and there's been droughts here of up to six weeks, even during droughts, this water has flowed. And this is what feeds the pond and what feeds the stream. So, it's a sacred task to come down here and spend time down here um, tending to the spring well. Because that's what I do, I tend it. Like all other aspects of nurturing Mother Earth. I tend it. No, I'm not finished yet. There's a few overhanging branches, like this one just above my head, so I have to stoop low. Um, there's some overhanging branches. There's a few more bits of the rubus that I want to take out. And then there's ferns to plant in here. But you can see now there's a nice wide path opened up and uh, giving lots of room to that again one of the sacred Celtic trees which is the holly which took root here on its own I didn't plant that so again that's a that's a very strong sign and my grandmother always said Colette as you go through life look for the signs because they're there most people miss them so the fact that the holly has rooted here, has taken root from a little, a little berry and uh, has put up with people passing by in a very tight space to and fro, give me the sign to widen the path and take it out on this side so as the holly can grow with all the respect that's due that little tree. And here we have the fairy wood in all its splendour. And the curtains of ivy are starting to grow. You see that? There's lots of curtains happening on this land. That's another sign. So blessings to you all. I'm going to go up now, light the stove that I haven't yet done, boil the kettle, look out the window whilst I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, and then make myself a nice pot of tea. Blessings to you all on this beautiful Last Sunday of Samhain. Samhain, of course, for those of you who have purchased my calendar in years gone past. I think the first calendar was 2019. Then there was one in 2020. And one for this year, 2021. You will know that Samhain, which is much older than anything to do with Wicca, or witchcraft, or any of the um, ways of honouring the earth that have sprung up over recent years. Samhain is the name given to November. You see? As Bealtaine is the name given to the month of May. Anyway... I think it's time for that tea. So blessings to you all. <laughs>